punched his wife twice, once in each eye. The following day, she seemed like a panda bear because of the two black eyes. But maybe you ignore the fact that panda bears, although they look like teddy bears, are however the animals that cause more injuries to humans in zoos all around the world. At least I read that someplace. And this injured woman was also like a time bomb on the verge of exploding. But she waited for the right moment. She was like the Loch Ness. If you look at the surface of the Scottish lake, it is apparently quiet and tranquil. But underneath, it hides a monster. And the monster she's holding inside herself is asking for blood and desires to kill. Ah, this is too obvious. I do not want to write a book about psychopaths. And this metaphor of the panda bear is stupid. This is really pathetic. Don't get too close to me. Don't worry. I didn't have any intention at all. Besides, I have millions of things to do. I'm not exactly a loving wife. Look, you don't have to give any explanations. I suppose you know what you're doing. Hey, what do you mean? I've told you a thousand times. I make my living writing novels. I do not need a neat, tidy, obedient wife. I need someone that tortures me, makes me suffer like a dog. An artist can only produce art through suffering. Hey Tom, I can assure you that I'm no angel at all. Promises, promises and more promises. I'm already fed up with you. You know what Sarah, you make me believe that you're this immoral woman. But ever since we've been living together, you've been moral to me like Penelope to Ulysses. Come on Tom, I think you should know that I have this sex with someone else a while ago. Lie! You're a loyal woman. You're not, you're not a Latino volcano you want me to believe you are. What do you, you want You don't deceive me anymore. Evidence? It'd be enough if you gave me the name of your supposed affair. I'm sorry, but I cannot tell it to you. And you know what? I'm tired of this neat and tidy house. It's impossible to think of myself as a bohemian in this clean and tidy place. You're a perfect wife, and I'm fed up of your perfections. You have no future as a muse. I feel you're about the same today. What's wrong with you? My husband, the writer. He doesn't believe in anything I say to him. Stop putting things up. That's the reason why my husband always thinks that I'm so clean. I'm sorry. I, 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 I'm an obsessive compulsive. What was that? What was that noise? Do you hear that? Maybe it's my husband. Finally, we're gonna get caught. Are you insane? Look, Marco, you don't understand. You don't know my husband. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Hello, sweetie. If you had come five minutes earlier, you would have seen Marco on me. Don't be absurd. You're talking about my brother in law. Do you hear that? Don't be absurd. I've already given you many opportunities, Sarah. But you continue to do what you want. At this rate, I can't be any inspiration to write. Well, Tom, I didn't tell you because I promised your brother that I wouldn't say anything. But I have had a relationship with him for three months. You're just such a joker, Sarah. You know, 
He's not the only person I went to sleep with. I go to bed with everything that moves. The neighbor downstairs, the neighbor upstairs, the dentist, the fireman, all of them know where my moles are. I see you get invented, huh? Listen, Tom, do you want me to call the neighbor upstairs? Sarah, I have not seen you in a long time. Is everything all right? Are you in the mood for something? Are you speaking seriously? How am I going to say that? Are you crazy? Don't mess with me. It's impossible to otherwise, if you ask him to admit what's an absolute lie, just admit you're lying. Okay, wait a second, I'm gonna call the neighbor downstairs. What? Okay, wait a second, I'm gonna call the fireman. Okay, I'm gonna call your father or any of your brothers because you should know that I've been with them too. No, you don't need to. I'm done packing my bag. I'm just gonna leave. You know what? I want to tell you something nice before I go, but I'm so short on inspiration and I don't want to squander it. But why didn't you tell him what we have just done? I don't really know what you mean. But Tom, you cannot leave me. You're the laughing stock of your family. Your father's always telling everybody about his affair with me behind your back. I'm the only one guilty. I cannot wear my knickers for more than two seconds. Please don't leave me. I just want you for your money. The fact that I'm in bed with all those men doesn't mean that I'm not in love with your check. I want to believe you, Sarah. But I don't want just words. I want facts. Don't leave me. I'm the terrorist woman. I like green traffic light for men. You know? I would never lie to you. Don't leave me. Don't leave me.